Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for April 1st. No fooling. A nice day today. We'll be up in the 70s. We cool down tomorrow and a big soaker coming up later this week on Thursday. So let's get in there and talk about things. This is the uh, Skycam view this morning. From the ABC 3340 Skycam Network in Tuscaloosa. A little light fog, but not too bad uh, at 5 o'clock. Down below, that's the uh, Hugh Thomas Bridge. There's a look at downtown Jasper as seen from the King Building and our Skycam. And Gulf Shore as things are calming down after a big weekend. A lot of folks down there headed back from spring break. Got a big trough over the Great Lakes down into the Ohio Valley, and that will be pushing a cold front down in here tonight, but no rain is expected. The deeper moisture is gone now, so uh, some clouds with that front tonight, but no rain. Starting off the day, mostly in the 50s, Birmingham at 56 will expect a high in the mid-70s today. Hey, that'll feel good. No rain, partly sunny. Uh, Around the nation, though, pretty cold up north. They're just having a hard time finding spring. And uh, we'll catch just the edge of that air mass tomorrow. Uh, Highs will drop into the uh, 60s. And by early Wednesday morning, some of the colder pockets could see 30s. But for now, we don't expect any big issues with uh, frost or freeze early Wednesday. Got some uh, dense fog advisories early this morning for much of Mississippi up into the Tennessee Valley and the uh, eastern two-thirds of Tennessee. But uh, again, for most of Alabama, it's not been a big problem. In terms of severe weather... Slight risk today over parts of West Texas. There's tomorrow, again, parts of West and Southwest Texas. And on day three, which is Wednesday, no formal risks. Low 5% probabilities on the western Gulf Coast. And this is the rain for the next five days. And I get the idea they'll be adjusting this map. I think the rains up here will be heavier than that based on the latest model runs. They've got the bigger rains just offshore in the Gulf with three inches down the air with amounts of uh, under one inch here. But... uh, Again, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw more than that. Look at modeling. This is the GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock local time today at 500 millibars. There's the big trough to the north. But the core of it is really bypassing us, and that's the reason we're thinking temperatures only drop about 10 degrees tomorrow. But today, hey, we'll be in good shape with uh, low to mid-70s. Both models, the NAM and the GFS, are at 73. But notice the cold air lurking not too far away. And tomorrow, we cool down. But the thickness values are suggesting only mid-60s, so we'll drop about 10 degrees. And uh, we note the gathering storm over Texas. Wednesday, rains increase in coverage and intensity over East Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas. Uh, We'll be dry, but the clouds will likely increase in advance of that big rain mass on Wednesday. And uh, I really think Wednesday morning... Uh, The sky will be generally cloudy. In fact, the day should be mostly cloudy, and the clouds should keep most folks out of the 30s. The uh, GFS is at 41. The NAM is showing 46. So the fear of any late-season frost is lessened tremendously here. Maybe the northeastern corner of the state will do uh, mid-30s. But the day Wednesday should be dry. This is Wednesday night just after midnight. Rain moves in. As a coastal low is uh, just off the Louisiana coast, and Thursday just looks like a soaker here. Uh, the GFS uh, GFS has the surface low south of Mobile, uh, about a thousand uh, what two millibars there, and just soaking rains here, and uh, that that is uh, giving us a look of one to two inches of rain, and I think that's right. And obviously, no severe weather with the low down to the south, just a cool, soaking, rainy day. I doubt if we get out of the fifties. And then Friday, that thing pulls out. Uh, rain, any lingering rain will be ending uh, during the morning. Uh, we might clear late in the day, but certainly by Friday night. And how about a beautiful weekend? I mean, this you're going to like this. Gorgeous. Saturday, a cloudless sky with mid-70s. Oh, boy, that's going to be good. Sunday, 77 is the number being spit out by the GFS with a good deal of sunshine. So the weekend just looks glorious. And then a week from today, We're still dry and mild, upper 70s likely, as a a new storm forms over the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles. You really have to go to April 12th to find the next uh, big rain event, uh, four days later. 
Uh, surface lows over Michigan, pretty far north of here, and that would suggest some good rains, but and maybe some strong storms, but not a classic severe weather look. And then on the 16th, got kind of a muggy air mass, but no really dynamic forcing for rain there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News, on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.